How we doing tonight, everybody? I am here for a review on this uh, Mayono. Mayono, uh, it's a uh, lapel or lavalier microphone, however you want to pronounce that. Um, this is, again, the Mayano um, microphone. This is a full-size XLR connector with approximately a five-foot um, cable, uh, cord, whatever you want to call it. This has a, a, a tiny little condenser microphone on it. Um, with this right now, I've got the uh, windscreen. That is what it looks like without the windscreen on it. Let's see if you can see it there. Uh, right there. And it is very small. Um, it has a little clip that can be clipped off and on. Um, I would suggest leaving it on once you get it on because uh, with the force that it took to get it on, it may only take a few of those before it finally breaks. Um, and it comes with two windscreens and then this little nice little um pouch and it's a kind of a kind of a i don't know heavy duty polyester material um with a with the pull string on it so um it is a decent looking little microphone uh, this is all metal it doesn't have any plastic on the at least on the connection for the xlr um it looks like it's it's built decently so um we will give it a try. Right now, you are either listening to me through my the camera's microphone, or um, we're going through the uh, through the shotgun microphone. So um, we will see which one sounds better. And then, of course, I'm going to go with the, uh, the, uh, the the lapel mic. I'm going to hook it up so you can hear what it sounds like. Just to give you a few stats on this uh, this device, though. Again, uh, this is the uh, the Mayano AU XLR10. Um, says 6.56 feet phantom powered, high sensitivity, flat frequency metal omnidirectional lapel mic for Zoom, camcorders, Canon, Sony, Panasonic, Tascam. Um, I did get this off of uh, Amazon. It was um, $36 roughly. So. Thirty-six dollars plus tax, stuff like that. They uh, that company does have some uh, some wireless uh, options. If you want to go wireless, uh, I didn't see a need to for just doing this. Um, I may do that later for different things, but we'll see. Again, this does require forty-eight volts phantom power. Um, it says that its frequency response is fifty hertz to eighteen kilohertz. So um, we'll see exactly how that works. It does not have a power pack for a battery. They do have another version that does have a power pack for a battery, and I believe it has a 10-foot cable on it. So a uh, 10-foot cable as opposed to um, a 6-foot cable with the battery pack also. Um, I don't see anything else on here. It does come again with two foam windscreens, the tie clip, and then one manual, which, uh, yeah, I <laughs> didn't really see a manual in there or anything. Um, it says it weighs 3.2 ounces. Um, it's uh, 4.92 inches by 3.89 inches by 0.94 inches. Um, that is really all I see on it. Uh, not, no more information. Uh, the reviews of it are um, 4.3 out of 5 by 43 customers. So not too bad for a cheap little uh, lapel microphone or whatever that you might want to use for... Um, your video blogs or whatever while you're sitting in your studio or in your office or at your desk or whatever where you can actually um, be tied down with a with a wire um, again just depends on what you want to do I thought this would be a good idea for this or when I was uh, doing things right there I can hook a microphone cable up to it and then run this up the back of my shirt stick a little loop of the microphone cable in my back pocket be good to go um, I don't use, like using wireless things unless I absolutely have to. If I'm out on the go, um, out in the field, whatever, then I'll use a, a wireless microphone then. But uh, for here in the studio, I do not like using wireless. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up now. Um, give me a couple seconds and we will see how things work with it. Okay, so this is me on the May Mayano um, mic uh, lapel microphone. As you can see, I have it about right here. So... Roughly about this distance from my mouth is, is where you want it. So the bottom lip to, to there, you know, go, go with your hand distance apart away from it. So that way you can get a good enough level and, uh, and everything. Now keep in mind, I do have um, TV in the background. Um, I wanted to keep that going. Also have a ceiling fan up above me that uh, is making 
some wind noise and a little clicking noise, you know, nothing big. I have my, my door open right here um, about uh, 10 feet away from me so that we can hear the outside noises um, and see how, where, how well this filters all that out. Um, I've just, I definitely wanted to see if, if, you, if we could do a recording with the lapel mic on and it cut a lot of those extra noises out as opposed to the, uh, the microphone on the camera, which definitely doesn't get rid of any of those noises. And also uh, the shotgun mic does a really good job of getting rid of those noises, but um, it does still get some of it in there. So um, it's, it's one of those things where you either have to try to filter it out um, or whatever. A, a lot of people have homes where you can't turn off um, all, the, all the sound in the house. Uh, got families, whatever the case may be. Um, I live close to an airport, so luckily I haven't heard any airplanes fly over yet, but that is always a possibility. Um, this is a busy area. It's, it's not a lot of traffic, but the idiots that drive by here all the time are, have loud motorcycles, loud trucks, whatever, and they always seem to think that um, since I'm a block away from the start point that it's, it's zero to 90 between there and here. So um, this is where we get all of the, the loud pipes and everything coming out. So it's, it's really annoying sometimes, but you live with what you can live with and uh, try to go on. So anyways, um, that is about enough for this video. Again, this is the Mayano, or May, yeah, Mayano um, lapel microphone. We're giving a test of it to see how well it works. Um, again, we're using a Acaso V50 Pro um, action camera and recording through the um, through the lapel mic into a Tascam uh, DR60 MK2. Um, and we were using the shotgun mic before and also the, the Acaso um, camera mic. So we will see how well that turns out and um, we'll go from there. See, see if there's anything that we need to do to, to mix it or anything like that. What I'm going to put on here is just going to be pretty much I'm going to get the level up to where it's a, a listenable level, but I'm not going to do anything to get rid of the noise. Um, I'm not going to do anything to EQ unless it sounds really awful bad. And then I'll put a note in there that, uh, that I did that. Um, I don't have the best speaking voice ever. Um, I'm not the best speaker, that's for sure. So, um, but I love doing these videos. This is a, a great hobby for me. Uh, spend some time doing stuff like this. I get to learn a lot and hopefully you guys learn something from what, I can give you. So, all right. Thanks a lot. Bye.